Matchbox. Silence in the court. Today, like every day, we will be trying John McGuilty. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Judge, sir. Do you have a second to marry us? We've been waiting for weeks for you to finish trying, Mr. McGuilty. <laughs> Don't give up hope. We're almost finished here. We just have a uh, one, two, three, four, nine hundred and eighty-seven remaining charges. <laughs> Ah. Mr. McGuilty, you were accused of starting a fire that burned 120,000 acres of forest. Let's take a look at the film recorded by a squirrel on a cellular telephone. <laughs> Did you have anything to say about that, McGuilty? Uh, the guy in the video isn't me, it's my twin brother, you see. Oh, yeah? And where is he now, this twin brother of yours? Uh, hmm? uh um, I killed him. Mm, goodness, that's a strong alibi. Very well, call the witness for the prosecution. The squirrel who recorded the video. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Our witness died yesterday in suspicious circumstances when he choked on his own cell phone and uh, a second phone belonging to Mr. McGuilty. Aha! Huh? So he choked on a cell phone belonging to the very person he was due to testify against. We can only conclude that... Life is full of coincidences that defy all explanation. Okay, let's see what the defense has up their sleeves. Your Honor, there are two pieces of evidence that prove Mr. McGuilty's innocence beyond doubt. Firstly, this recording of a telephone call in which my client denies having had any connection with the incident. Hi, this is John McGuilty, and I am not about to start a forest fire. <laughs> Rock solid. Yes, sir. Yep. And we also have this photograph, which was taken at the exact same time the fire is said to have begun. Oh. There you have it. At the time in question, my client was in a bar smoking a cigarette. What? Mr. McGuilty, I'm very sorry, but for the first time, I have to find you guilty. 30 years in prison for smoking tobacco in a public place. Uh, but... Take this criminal to the cell. Uh -huh. Yes? Oh, I don't know. Uh, give me a second. Your Honor, it's Mr. McGuilty's mother. She's asking, should I expect him home for dinner? Me? Why would I go to her house for dinner? I've never even met the woman. No, not you, sir. I believe she's referring to the dining arrangements of her son, Mr. McGuilty. Ah, in that uh -huh. case, tell her not to expect him home for dinner for the next 30 years. Uh -huh. This court is adjourned. Uh -huh. No!